Hi there and in this Logic Pro 10.1 quick tip video I'm going to look at switching out drummer in Logic for say Native Instruments Machina or another drum machine so I'm going to go and load a drummer track in here and we did do a previous tutorial looking at this in Logic Pro 10 and it is ever so slightly different the way you set it up now in Logic Pro 10.1 so we've got this loop here this drummer loop and let's just customize this a little bit Add a bit of swing, some drum fills. Got a lot of sounds in there. We really like that groove, but we want to switch that out for a kit in machine or if you've got like a, a drummers on or Nefferton by D16, one of the 808 or 909 emulations, and you just want to try a different kit with that loop. Previously, Logic Pro 10, what you could do is this drummer trap would be appearing here and you could just click on this and you get a drop down and you could switch it out for machine. It's implemented ever so slightly differently now. So what I need to do is click on drum, this drum machine designer and this brings up my drum machine designer. And then if we look here, this is essentially ultra beat samples all loaded in ultra beats. If I click on kick, this is going to show me the channel that the kick drum is on. If you click on one of the other hits, it's going to show me this ultra beat is loaded as a multi output instrument, so the rides are coming through on those channels, or the hi hat is coming through on those channels. But the kick drum on all of these kits and drummer is coming through the main ultra beat output. So this gives me the option to switch out ultra beat for another instrument. So what I can do here is go to the drop down menu and go to Native Instruments, Machina stereo or multi output depending on what you're going to be setting up in there and then in here what I need to do now in Machina is looking at your groups make sure that this button down here is not highlighted if that's highlighted it's going to load a kit it's going to load all the hits or the MIDI hits inside machine as well as you having this conflicting MIDI information or drummer region in here so make sure that isn't highlighted there and then you can go ahead and load in a kit and then what's going to happen now is listen to this loop loading one of these kits it's not really playing back the kit properly at the moment if I go to this it's triggering that one sample in machine at different pitches and we need to go and set something up in machine here so it triggers all these samples properly go to your group level and then go to your MIDI input and select active and now the kit will trigger properly you can switch out this kit here and it keeps those active MIDI active settings and then of course with that kit selected we can now go back to this drummer region and start making tweaks on that loop So that's really cool. Something else to note here as well is if with this set up by default, the drummer track is set up by default, if I go ahead and switch drummers here, it will switch out everything again and it will reload ultra beat and I'd have to do all that machine setup again. So what you can do to avoid this happening here is, is to select this keep drum kit when changing drummer. So if I select that now, and go over to this next drummer, change drummer, keeps machine two, it's just going to change the drumming style. And that's pretty cool. If we didn't have this selected and then we went ahead and changed one of these drummers, you watch up here, it'll just change drummer and it will load up ultra beat again. And you'd, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to go through that whole setup again. So that's a pretty cool option there keep drum kit when changing drummers and also the options for loading machine in there instead of ultra beat or or you wouldn't have to load machine or you could load up you know drummers on or nefferton or another drum machine plugin 
but uh, just a really cool way of using these advanced features and very tweakable features that you have in Drummer alongside an external drum machine. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. Any questions you've got, get in touch. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.